using libraries that we have written so far. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. As you can see, the log helper.cs that we wrote in our previous videos, instead of settings.logpath, what I'm going to do as of now is I'm going to hard code this particular value to maybe d colon qt log and then I'm going to hit a slash there. There we go. I'm going to save it and I'm going to make this as a directory by means of the hair string. Cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to save this and I will be using this log helper and the Excel helper in our test and see how it works. So basically I want to see this. So basically all I have to see is this. While I run this particular web navigation employee list test, I should see the log file as well as I should bring the data from an Excel sheet. So instead of this admin and admin, which I'm hard coding the value for now, I want this data to be coming from an Excel sheet. So I have already discussed about reading data from Excel sheet and also passing the value from an Excel sheet in our previous videos as well as in the free videos. So that's why I'm just quickly running this particular video as quick as possible, right? So that we don't really divert from the essence of our course. So what I'm going to do is I will first call our log helper to get start the test. So log helper started. So I'm going to say log helper dot there is a method called create log file so i'm just going to call this create log file method and then i need to write some log so log helper dot write method so here i'm going to say log starter so this can be used for auditing purpose cool and then i'm going to call the excel helper and there is a method called populate in collection and with this method, I can pass the file name, which is going to read, which is going to hold our data. So basically, I'm going to read the Excel sheet. So I have to create an Excel sheet, of course. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create an Excel sheet with username as the column and password as another column. So we know what is the username which is nothing but admin and the password is, of course, password. So it is not capital letter, it is small letter. Ooh, ooh. Cool, I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna save this in my D colon for now. So let's add. This PC in D colon. data all right I'm gonna save it and now I'm gonna close this Excel sheet so here I'm gonna pass at d colon slash data dot XLS X cool and now the data is out there and all I have to do is to read the data from the Excel sheet and see how I can pass the data right here. So Excel helper dot, there is a method called read. So I actually have to go to the particular class and let's make this as static so that I can read or call the method name without creating an instance of it. Excel dot read data. And here I need to pass the row number, which is nothing but one. All right. And then the column name is going to be username. Similarly, we have to do it for the password as well. So I'm just going to pass it right here. And this is the password. Cool. Let's see how this code works. I'm just going to save this test. And once this is done, and then I'm going to call this log.write method once again. And I'm going to say log stopped. I'm going to save it. And then I'm just going to run this test, which is nothing but the web navigate employee list. Oops, we got the problem. I think the problem is because of the Excel data reader helper. So let's go right here. I think the reason is because of this particular line of code. 
so if I remove this less than or equal to just less than or if I change this column from 0 to 1 then it will work fine so I will just remove the equals and if I save the code and if I run the selected test this time it should work fine without any problem so it's opening the test in the Chrome browser there we go it's performing the operation the test got passed and let's also see if the log helper is working fine or not so we need to navigate to this c colon cuit folder so I'm just going to navigate out there there we go so let's select the latest file and as you can see here we have this uh, log started and log stopped so everything is working fine as expected cool so this is how we can work with the excel helper as well as the log helper and in the next video we'll try to see how we can work with the database helper and before working with the database helper we are going to write a configuration stuff where it's going to hold all the framework configuration and we are going to read the data from there so that that can be helpful for most of our hard-coded configurations that you are seeing right here for logging as well as for the database